a word, please. A word is, just a word is, just a word is, not just a word, not once it's been heard. It becomes a belief, a reason for someone's grief, fear, confusion, causes actions, a sign on a restaurant window, Chinese not welcome here, a slur on a car door, f***ing chink, go home, disappear, a clenched fist meets her back, her arms, her face, get out of our United States, her face, her face, her face, a face spit on, kicked on, painted on, disinfectant, sprayed on, acid, splashed on, knife, slashed on. No, no, you're right. You weren't holding that knife. How could you have known? How could you possibly know what a word could do unless it was said about you? How could you know that negative comments about people of Asian descent increased 167% a week after a word was said? Now, it's too late to take it back. Now, we're just barely keeping track of over a thousand reports of discrimination and counting. And that's just counting the ones that were reported. What about the ones that were left unsaid? How many thought this can't be happening? And if it is, should I even say anything? I'm just grateful to be here. So what actually happened? How could you know? How could you know what it feels like to call your parents, not just to talk, not to ask them, hey, how was your walk, but to ask them, please don't go outside. There's something happening worldwide. Mom, cover up, not just your nose, your mouth, but your eyes, your hair, your voice. You hide everything about yourself. Don't let them see you. Don't let them recognize you. This virus does not discriminate. People do. But hey, it's just a word, right? How could you know what a word could do unless it was said about you? Unless you were me, then maybe you'd call it COVID-19.